Rising costs on both meat and eggs as a result of recent world events have put pressure on wallets everywhere. But one marathon resident is hoping council will back her proposal that could see her and other residents save buck, buck, bucks on poultry by allowing backyard chickens. As Adam Riley reports, the push hasn't seemed to ruffle any feathers on council. There were some foul discussions at Marathon Council this week as a result of a delegation from a resident asking the municipality to consider allowing backyard chickens in the community. Damage for care and conditions, backyard chickens provide a safe source of food that is self-sustaining, local, organic, and cost-effective. The COVID-19 pandemic has also created a greater food insecurity and exposed vulnerabilities in the food supply chain. We've already seen temporary egg shortages in the supermarkets and a noticeable increase in the cost of meat. It's a similar story to what happened in Thunder Bay several years ago that ultimately ended with that city turning the bylaw down. However, there appears to be some openness in Marathon. Mayor Rick Dumas says this isn't the first time the topic has been broached by the community. We've had a you know, bit of a dis discussion, but nothing serious about it. But I think, you know, my personal view is I, I fully support of it. Uh, I'm, not, I'm supportive of, of a limit, of course. We don't want to have farms in the backyards, but a limited number of chickens and, and no roosters, right, because that's where the complaints would come from. Dumas believes should chickens be allowed in backyards, it could spur residents to look towards homegrown foods, allowing the community to become more self-sufficient. We can have people encouraged to, you know, chickens as the eggs, and then you have your backyard garden and doing those various things and, uh, you know, making your own uh, jams and jellies and, uh, you know, uh, stews and beans and you're, you're, you know, jarring those things and having a, a supply of food where you don't have to depend on the supply chain. Fortunately, Carmen won't have to wait long for a potential bylaw change. Another council-related bird term is lame duck. When a council is limited in what it can and can't approve due to an election and less than 75% of current members running again. With Dumas acclaimed and all four sitting councillors looking to retain their seats this fall, there was no lame duck in Marathon, opening up the possibility of the bylaw update being presented and voted on before the next term of council. Adam Riley, TBT News.